Meditation is this awareness of the totality of the field of consciousness, which means totality of the whole thought process. Not only the thought process technologically as you learn a language, how to run a machine, how to run a computer and so on, so on, but also to learn about the totality of the thinking, feeling mechanism, to be choicelessly aware of all that is to be in a state of meditation. Because unless the totality of the brain cells are utterly quiet, not projecting any thought, any hope, any desire, any pleasure, which are all the response of the past, it's only when the brain cells are completely quiet. And they can be only quiet when there is total attention of the whole of the of consciousness, which is thought, feeling, and action. Then you will see, if you have gone that far, that there is a state of attention in which there is still movement of the brain cells without the reaction. Hmm. Isn't that a lovely sunset, what? You know, we don't know what silence is. We only know silence when noise talks. And we are partially aware to the noise of consciousness, but we do not know what silence is apart from the noise of consciousness. Right? We are talking of a silence which is not the ending of a noise. like beauty, like love. It's not the ending. Love is not the ending of hate. Oh, the ending of desire. Love is something utterly different from desire, from hate. You do not come to love by suppressing desire, as you have been taught through literature, through, through these saints and all the rest of it. The, end, the ending of noise, not because you want silence, but the very ending, is not the silence which comes into being when noise ceases. This, uh, Last night there was a wedding going on next door. They began, I don't know, I think about half past five, kept up till ten, and began again this morning at half past four, and stopped around half past eight or nine, and they again began this afternoon. And they're making hideous noise, which they call music. And I am not criticizing the people who listen to it, who enjoy it. And when, the, when that noise stopped, there was an extraordinary silence. And that's all we know, the silence when noise stops, the silence when thought stops. But that's not silence at all. Silence is something entirely different, like beauty, like love. And this silence 
is not the product of a quiet mind, not the product of a brain cells which have understood the whole structure and say, for God's sake, let me be quiet. Then the brain cells themselves produce a silence. <coughs> And that is not that silence. That silence is something entirely different. And that silence is not the outcome of attention. Attention in which the observer is the observed, when there is no friction, that can produce another form of silence, but that's not silence. Silence? <laughs> you can't describe it. I won't. You are waiting for me to descri- uh, for the speaker to describe it so that you can compare it, capture it, and carry it home and bury it. It cannot be described. What can be described is the known, and the freedom from the known can only come into being when there is a dying every day to the known, to the hurts, to the flatteries, to the images that you have built about your wife and your husband, your society, your political leader, your religious, dying to all that every day, so that the, the brain cells themselves become fresh, young, innocent. But that innocence, that freshness, that quality of tenderness, gentleness, that does not produce love, that is not the quality of beauty or silence, unless the mind has become aware of that, our life becomes rather shallow, empty and meaningless. But that silence which is not the ending of noise, is only a small beginning. It's like going through a small hole to an enormous, wide, expansive ocean, to an immeasurable, timeless state. But that one cannot understand verbally unless you have understood this whole structure of consciousness and the meaning of it, the pleasure, the despair, the whole of that has been understood and the brain cells have become quiet. Then perhaps you may come upon that mystery which nobody can give or anybody can describe. 